Hi guys, welcome back to the Mindworks channel. You are with me, Arun Sharma, and I'm doing must know question and quants. 35 interesting question coming up for you today. Do watch the other videos of the series and do like, comment. And as I mentioned, you mentioned to you in the in the previous lesson, uh, the previous video also. I'm reminding you about this again. Do write uh, if you have any doubts and questions, etc. Do share those doubts uh, on the channel. We'll try to uh, at least do some of them, some good quality ones. Uh, which are relevant from aptitude exam viewpoints. We'll, we'll try to take those up in our live problem solving or uh, recorded uh, video solutions sessions. So some of you had written that and I would, uh, we'll be, we have taken note of those. And I would want more of you to write your questions on the channel and in, as a comment on these videos and we would be more than happy to take those up for you. So the interesting question today, it's about percentages. A little bit uh, calculative part is slightly Tedious in this question for some of you maybe, but I'll just show you the ideas inside this question. Let's read the question. In 2030, a survey of the Abdamans forest revealed that there were a total of 13,500 animals, carnivorous and non-carnivorous. So that's the starting point in this question that the survey revealed that there are two kinds of animals, carnivorous and non-carnivorous. And in 2030, the survey is revealed that the carnivorous plus the non-carnivorous animals were 13,500. First reaction is that equation. You keep going ahead. In 2035, this number in, had increased to 16,310. So this number had increased to 16,310 in 2035. During this period, there is an increase of 22% in the number of, number of carnivorous animals, while there is an increase of 20% in the number of non-carnivorous carnivorous animals. So that means you have 1.2c plus 1.22n is equal to 16,310. So it's pretty much a simple situation. Obviously, the question will ask you how many carnivorous and non-carnivorous animals there were either in 2030 or in 2035, one of that will be asked in the question. If you keep going ahead, the question is asking how many carnivorous animals were there in the forest in 2035. So, so we are talking about the value of C uh, here in this in this scenario. How many carnivorous animals were there in the forest in 2035? And I think I've, I've written it wrongly. Ulta likha mene. There was an increase of 22% in the carnivorous animals, while there was an increase of 20% in the non-carnivorous animals. So this is this equation is actually the opposite. 1.22c plus 1.2n has happened. Now, <clears throat> of course, as I said, this is a straight two equation to unknown situation. You can solve this through through standard uh, equation solving process of eliminating one of the uh, values or one of the uh, variables by multiplying let's say this equation by 1.22 for example or 1.20 that will be an easier multiplier so if I multiply that equation by 1.20 I get 1.20 C plus 1.20 N is equal to 20% increase in 13,500 so that calculation you should be able to mentally 13,500 ka 10% 10 is 1350 so if you increase it by 20%, it will become 2700 more. So 13,500 will become 16,200. So that is the calculative aspect of this. And now you can subtract this minus this. The uh, N will get cancelled and you get 0.02C is equal to 110. And 0.02C is equal to 110. The value of C is 110 divided by 0 0.02 dividing by 0 0.02 is the same as multiplying by 50 so if you multiply this number by 50 110 by 50 you will get 5500 the value of c will come out to be 5500 but they have not asked us the value of c carnivorous animals in 2030 the question is asking us the number of carnivorous animals in the forest in 2035 so for that, one last step will have to be done and that is 5500 into 1.22. So 
So uh, 5500 into 1.22 can also be thought of as 5500 plus 20% plus 2%. So 20%, 10% of 5500 is 550. So 20% is 1100. So you can add 1100 here. And 2% 2 is 110 more. So you can add 110 more. So 1210 gets added. So the number of carnivorous animals in 2035 will be 6710. So this is one way to do this question. The other if you don't, if you want to avoid writing all this and if you, specifically if your calculation skills are stronger, you could, uh, you could kind of uh, do this question by uh, trying to, uh, by trying to do a little bit of a, uh, numerical uh, thought process here. So there's an alternate way to do this, but that's, I mean, I, I think in this case, the, the equation solving process is not very difficult. And since you, when you're starting it, you know it, uh, you, you, you anyway know uh, the, the values or you know that if you, if you calculate correctly, you'll get the answer and there's no uh, ambiguity or, or no uh, twist and turn inside the question as per se. So you are pretty much in control of the equation process. But just in case you want to know as, or if in case you have options in the question, maybe a better way to, will be to think about this through values in this context so what you can do I mean there's an alternate numerical method of solving this question and that's one of the reasons why I picked up this question in this series if you look at the growth 20% uh, growth on this will be 2700 so 16200 will represent if this number had become 16200 it would have represent 20% growth and because it's 16310 you first visualize that this growth actually is less than 21 percent if it had been uh, because because 135 more from here would have become exactly 21 percent growth so 16,335 would have been 21 percent but ye number jo 16,335 is in niche right this number is ah, this happens on this machine sometimes so this number is below uh, 13 uh, 16,335 so that means that the growth is less than 21%, which means if the growth is less than 21%, this is growing by 22%, this is growing by 20%, and uh, if, if the values of C and N were equal, then the growth would have been 21% exactly. If uh, the growth is less than 21%, that means the value of N is more than half. So if you start thinking from there, uh, and you start trying to think, if you had options, of course, then the numbers would become easy. But even if you don't have options, even if it is a theta question, you can try to think, okay, the halfway point of this is 6750H. So if I go round figures, because I can't take too many decimals in this or too many uh, off, off round figures here. So if I go round figures and I go with N as 7000 and uh, this is 6500. I can see that this number will not match this without the calculation, without the full calculation because see what has going to happen is if I increase this by 20%, it's going to be an ending in number with double zero at it. So a number ending in double zero plus another number ending in one zero is required to give me a number ending in one zero. So 6500 if I add 20% to it, 130, uh, sorry, uh, 1300 and 2% more, 130 more, is going to give me a 30 here, not a 10. So 6500 and 7000 won't work in this question. So if I go to the next one, next possible, 6000 and 7500. Remember C was smaller, less than half, because of the percentage growth being less than 21%. And this is growing 20 and that's growing 22. If uh, uh, C was more than half, then the growth would have been uh, more than 21% because the percentage growth on the total is the weighted average of the growth on these two and the weights are the original values. So, if 6000 or 7500, 20% growth will be double zero here and here I have 10. So, 6000 20% growth is 1200 and 2% and growth is 120. So I'm going to end up with a 20, not a 10 in the last two digits. So at 6,7500, there's no last two digit match. 
and if I go with the third one as 5500 and 8000 in this case I can see that 20% of 5500 is 1100 and 2% 200, 2, 2 more is 110 so 1210 is the growth here this will become 6710 and this will become 9600 and you can see that this actually matches 16310 so so you could you could actually this is the art of creating options where there are no options not very necessary for this question as i told you again and again as i'm telling you again and again but this thought process i wanted to show you because it's used a lot of questions uh, it's also used in a lot of data interpretation uh, thinking logical uh, quantitative logical uh, reasoning thinking and of course if this option the question had options this would be a much faster way to do the numbers than going through the equation process and writing the solutions so I hope you like this, uh, do like the videos, do share, do subscribe and do comment on the videos and I'll see you uh, in the next session uh, very soon. Bye bye.